Daily 27. Classic film. Let's get to West Side Story, the original, from 1961. This one is directed by Jerome Robbins and Robert Wise. Stars Natalie Wood, George Chakaris, sorry if I said that name wrong, Richard Bamer, Russ Tamblin, Rita Marino, and others. And the synopsis is, two youngsters from rival New York City gangs fall in love, but tensions between their respective friends build toward tragedy. So, in case you're unaware, this is considered to be, I think, one of the most iconic, legendary musicals of all time. Incredibly influential and impactful, and still is at this point. Steven Spielberg did a remake of it a couple of years ago, which I reviewed on the Spielberg bonus show on Bandcamp, which you can check out, which I liked that movie. I didn't love it, but I did like it. I saw this one probably for the first time in high school, maybe college when I was getting into film. And I think maybe I'm wrong. There is a pretty unanimous consensus there where the not PC, if not outright racist aspects of the movie where, for example, Natalie Wood plays Maria and she is a white actress playing a Puerto Rican. And then many of the Puerto Rican gang members are white men with their faces painted darker. So it is racist and there is absolutely no way to defend that either when it came out or now. And I'm really glad that Spielberg did rectify those problems in the new one but besides that the musical is very good the musical aspect like the dances are amazing the opening with the snapping is great the maria song the i feel pretty song like it has some incredibly iconic songs and dance numbers and the choreography is crazy and if you read into the production the amount of hours spent rehearsing and the long long days getting these very athletic physical numbers down is pretty insane to read about. And I don't know if that's ever been matched since in terms of that level of dedication, I guess you can say. So all that works for me. It is entertaining. It's got that very epic romance, dramatic sort of feel, the Romeo and Juliet inspired nature of the story. So all that works for me. I do find in both this one and the remake, both of them are too long. I think by the first hour and a half or hour 45 minutes, I'm kind of ready for it to wrap up. I think the first half is better than the second in both versions. However, one thing that I like a lot that some people seem to sort of hate on is the ending. I like how quiet the ending is. And some people are expecting this big epic ending for a film like this, but I really like how it does end with that spoiler here, death of a character and both movies really delving into the pointlessness of hate and violence and where it's just gang members attacking each other and then most of the time it ends up being innocent people who get hurt or killed not actually the people involved in the fighting so all that still has plenty of resonance today even more so and i think spielberg's remake went even deeper into all of that so that worked for me so it's one that you know if you like musicals whether or not you've seen the remake, it is worth watching because you can see the influence across so many aspects of film and filmmakers and all that. It's very, very worthy in terms of the musical aspect of its place in film history. So in that way, it is worth watching, but the not PC parts of the movie are not good and will never be okay. Besides that, the location of the movie is great in New York, and I love all of the sequences in both versions where they're at Maria's apartment complex and she's on the balcony, and that's where it really gets into the Romeo and Juliet baseline. So it looks amazing. The colors, it has that very classic golden era technicolor vibrancy to it. So there's no denying that it looks amazing. And the editing, of course, is unparalleled in terms of getting those dance sequences down and fluid and make sure they're matching up with the rest of the story and the pacing like it all works very well but nevertheless in summation it's not one of my all-time favorite musicals either version i think the flaws i pointed out are always there every single time i watch them so i don't think those will ever really go away 
And I think that there are, are a lot of others, even putting aside the not PC stuff that work a lot better for me and are a little bit more engaging. So that one is a heavy four out of five. 